Welcome back to Storytime, everybody. I've got my two boys with me to help me. I've got Tyler and Gavin. All right, and they're gonna be helping me with this book. It's one of our bedtime favorites. It's called Nuffle Bunny. Actually, there's a bit of a debate. Some people think it's Knuffle Bunny, but I say Nuffle Bunny, um, and I hope you guys enjoy it with us. It's by Mo Williams, a great author. All right, here we go, Nuffle Bunny. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. Trixie and her daddy went down the block, through the park, past the school, and into the laundromat. Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry into the machine. Is she very, very helpful? No. Not no. really. <laughs> She even got to put the money into the machine. Then they left. Uh-oh, do you see something? Nuffle Bunny. <gasps> but a block or so later, Trixie realized something. Trixie turned to her daddy and said, Aggle, flaggle, clabble. That's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. said Trixie again. Flaggle flabble, won't, won't be flappy snuff. Now please don't get fussy, said her daddy. Well, she had no choice. Trixie bawled. Wah! Let me hear you do that. Uh-oh, she went boneless. She did everything she could to show how unhappy she was. And by the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy too. As soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, Where's Nuffle Bunny? The whole family ran down the block and they ran through the park. They zoomed past the school and into the laundromat. Trixie's daddy looked for Nuffle Bunny and looked and looked and looked, but Nuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. So Trixie's dad decided to look harder until... Nuffle Bunny! Nuffle Bunny! And those were the first words Trixie ever said. Yay! I hope you enjoyed reading with us. We're so um, glad that you come in and watch our videos. And we hope that we get to see you guys again very, very soon. Everybody, bye!